Okay, so in this file, sometimes you're going to get a file, uh, and you know you need a CSV to load to your website, but you get the file in a text format. And just changing the extension name doesn't help. Um, and so what do you do? You have to do it a, a little bit different than normal, but you have to start here on your Excel. right? You can't start with just opening the file or even telling it to open a file in Excel. You just start here with uh, open and go into your system and, and you'll see that here's the the text file right because you see it's got the txt instead of the csv and and so it will um, open if you don't see it if you go to open it and you don't see it you want to come down here and maybe it's set to these which it goes hey there's nothing in there you want to set it to all files and we're going to open this up you're just going to click it once. It'll show up in your little box down here, and we're going to open it up. Now, because of the way you did this, it's going to pop this up. We want it to be delimited. I think by default it comes fixed, but I've already been doing this this morning, which is why I'm doing this video. So we want to change it to delimited. Hit the next button, and I don't want it tab. I want it pipe separated. So I'm going to click other. I'm going to click this, which is button usually right above your inner key um, you have the backslash and then above that you have the pipe right a straight up and down and then I'm just gonna say finish I'm gonna leave it by default and BAM it opens up in something that looks similar that we can start working with but it still says text txt at the back so what you do want to do is save as and then come down here and save your file as a CSV so you can then use it. So you just turned a text file into a CSV file. It doesn't mean you don't have work to do on this file, right? But, um, and while we're at it, you know, when you're opening and you take it into CSV, a lot of times your UPCs will change. Um, what I do, I try not to, to actually work a lot of files in CSV until I'm ready, but, I do come in and I format the cells to a number um, and that way it it takes that formula away and I can make sure usually that don't, won't change it but if you keep changing and saving a CSV and not do that and you might have another magic trick on your side but you'll end up with one number right it, it it'll change it to one number anyway there you go I hope this helps and uh, Get those parts loaded to your website.